Okay, so I'm going to remove this garbage disposal and replace it with a new one. And I've got a couple things I got to do. It looks like I got to get a screwdriver, flathead, flathead, flathead. And I'm going to loosen that. I may just keep that because I got the exact same one. That's all hooked up there. Traps good. Don't have to do anything there. First thing I got to do is unplug it. Bam. So that that means that this thing no longer has electricity going to it, and hopefully I won't get um, electrocuted. <laughs> so that's that. All right. Next, what we got to do is uh, we got to get a tools to do this. So we're going to need just a flathead screwdriver, really. I think that's about it. And then this piece here, eh, we may just take that off. Maybe not. We'll take a look at it. It shouldn't be uh, this should not be that big of a problem also we're going to need a special tool that we put up here that releases this from the top uh, back at, uh, this top piece that goes into the sink so it's a special tool that usually it comes in the box when you buy it so it should be in there and we shouldn't have any problem so not too much we don't really have to turn off the water because the water isn't hooked to it this right here is hooked to the dishwasher so when you open it up you got to bust out this little plug that's in there otherwise your dishwasher won't work so don't forget to do that and unplug your stuff all right here we go i'm going to go up to the box here's, here's the new one and this is basically a badger 500 it's a one half power waste disposal and you can get them at anywhere out here my girl is power washing let's go over here and take a look at this so I'm going to go ahead and open up this box, see what's inside. Stop, install or read me first. Okay. Oh. We don't need that. Oh, look. They give us the whole mechanism if we need it for the sink. and it also comes with all these parts. Okay, so I don't think we're going to need all that stuff. All right, this is the tool that you're going to need to take it off and to put it on underneath the sink. All right, apparently you need a hammer according to the directions. So, Screwdriver, hammer, I'm going to put it down here on this thing over here. And then, see if you can see it. Nope. Pull that out. There she be. So now, take that here. Bam. Done. Then you want to get inside there. And you want to get it off of there. You don't want it. You don't want this thing inside your garbage disposal. You follow me? That's, you know, you're starting out just che chewing that thing up. That's not good. All right, so now we got that done. You have to make sure that that's clear. See my finger in there? So now when you hook your dishwasher to it, the water just doesn't hit something straight. I made the mistake one time of uh, putting one together without doing that. I had to take the whole thing apart. Okay, flip her over, and we're going to open up this door. We need a Phillips head screwdriver. So we're just going to loosen it up and pop it over. And inside are your hot, your neutral, and your ground wire. There's your ground, I mean contact, not wire. And then you got these two, uh, two wires here that you got to hook up to the other cord that's on your other uh, garbage disposal underneath the sink. So that's what we got to do uh, next. We got to take the garbage disposal out and get that cord. So as I said, we have uh, already taken the cord off. It's not plugged in. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take off this uh, this connector here that goes to the dishwasher. So all we have to do is just loosen it a little bit, and it should just pop off. Now it may have some it may have may have adhered to this a little bit. See, this is loose. So I got to kind of work it off. 
It may have some water in it, so you want to be careful. I got a uh, I got a little towel there, so it drips on it. So next, we're going to get over here on this one. There's a little nut right there. All right, so I'm just going to loosen this one. I'm going to keep that one on there because that goes to the trap. And hopefully, I'll be able to pull this thing out of there. And what I'm hoping is I can just drop my other one down in here, and it'll be an easy fix to hook it up. So I'm going to go ahead and just loosen this one. Nice and easy. Probably have to do a voiceover for this whole thing because it's, you know, that, that'll just slide right off of there, see? No big deal. And if I want to make it easier for myself, I can just loosen these and pull that whole, this whole thing off of here and then just pull it out. I mean, it's going to make it much easier to do it that way. I can find the freaking oh there we go so remember righty tighty lefty loosey and that's how you get her out of there and I'm just gonna unscrew those you saw how I put them in on the other one no big whoop and bam that's it that's done you can see there's some junk in there <laughs> that's kind of gross huh so that's good and if we wanted to we could just put that one back on this one which maybe that's what we're gonna do we might just do that because that could be easier for us. Now we got to get our tool. All right, so if you go to clockwise, it releases and it slides off this little lip right here. See? And it just falls off. Very simple. All right, so let's put the new one in. First, we got to put the cord on. All right, so first thing we got to do is I got to get this out of here. We're going to just unhook this, slide it over. It's got two little lug nuts. We're going to need those. Pop these out, twist them, put that there. Take this one off, pop that off. Then we're going to pull this out through here. And we're going to take this off of here. Gonna need this. Looks like we gotta go all the way off because look what kind of hook up it is. Okay, now we've got our cord completely off and we're gonna hook it onto this one so I can get rid of this garbage disposal. We gotta keep the cord. So we're gonna take this one. And we'll just put it down here for now. And let's move over here. All right, so the first thing I gotta do is I gotta feed these wires through here. So I wanna do that first. So I'm gonna just slide them through like that. Whoops. Okay, so I'm going to pull them through like that, far enough so that I can get it to, uh, you know, to hook them up to these. Then I'm going to push this one through. This is a small one here. Let's push it through here. All right, so now what we got to do is we got to take our ground completely off because it's got this attachment that a little bit, I got to go all the way through. Taking the ground completely off. And then, if you look, you'll see, I'm gonna go through the, pull these over to the side. I'm gonna go through the middle of this, right there. I'm gonna bring it through. And I'm gonna put it in that little hole there. And I'm gonna screw it in. So easy, huh? So far, so good. We haven't killed ourselves yet. Gotta get it all the way down. For some reason, it doesn't want to go down. Looks like I got to cross thread it, maybe. Oh, Jesus. You want a good, good contact. So you got to get it in there. Bam, done. 
Now we just got to put these on here. And I don't think it makes any difference which one is which. Because they don't really have a color code on them, do they? So I'm thinking that we'll just go like this. Put our nut on. Get it nice and tight. Take our other one. Hook it here. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Push her on there. You don't want any of these little wires hanging out because you don't want to get electrified. So you look in there and make sure it's deep on your hookup. Then we're just going to smush them down inside there. Put one on that side. Put one over on this side. Just kind of crush them down. And then we're just going to slide the door over like that. Push this in there. And then we're going to tighten her down. Hopefully we won't electrocute ourselves. <laughs> Bam, done. All right, so we're going to see if we're going to measure this a little bit because this one's shorter. And I just want to see if I, once I get it up there, if it's going to fit that good. So I, wanna, I need to get it into here. And uh, I think we'll be able to just slide it right down in there. So let's put that there. All right, so what I'm hoping is I can just slide that right in there. First of all, this, was, this, this flexes a little bit so we can play with that a little bit. All right, so if you go to clockwise, it releases and it slides off this little lip right here. See? And then if I go counterclockwise, it tightens. And that's how you put it on. People. So I'm going to put the tool in here. I'm going to push it this way to tighten it. But as you can see, this is a little out of position, isn't it? So, looks like I got to change this and move it back. So this will twist. I got to get this over here. Now, I'm going to try to put it in there. All right. Slide this this way. I'm going to tighten it. I'm going to go to the store and get this and some beer and some gone. Now that should be on there good. So now all I got to do is get that thing in there without breaking this. So I'm going to have to loosen this and put it in and then put it in. Because that's just not going to work the way I thought. Come on now. I'm trying to do something here. You guys are like screwing up my whole situation. I need Motrin. You need the Motrin out of my way. See it down there? No, I don't see it. Okay, well, it went right on around you, so you're... Well, it's okay. Don't worry. We'll find it later. Okay. It's not a big deal. The other one worked. It was just loose. I'm going to pressure hose that patio, which has never been done. Yeah. I think Quinn should do that. I think we should make Quinn do it. Honey, I have rags for this kind of thing. Is that all greasy too? Ugh. It's not greasy. It's it's the thing that you. You know, it, it's always a problem. Honey, I have rags for this. You it's don't always a fucking problem. problem. Ugh. You only got three thousand dish towels in there. It's not. Yeah, I have four thousand rags. So. So anyway, you can see that. That it's just it's it's a vigil. It's a constant vigil that I have to go through. It's a spiritual process of constantly having to bite my tongue, shut the fuck up, and do what I'm told. No, you know what I mean? What a nightmare. Huh. Welcome to my nightmare. You know, these dish towels to install machines and such things. You use all the towels that are outside to do that. Oh. It's simple. Oh my god. It's insane. Soup right over all this stuff. Insane in the membrane. And all this stuff. So look, I think we're cool. I think we're tight. 
We're here, now we just gotta get this so that it doesn't leak. So we're gonna tighten this bad boy down. We're gonna go righty tighty, not lefty loosey. Although if you like loosey old ball, I don't know what this, I can tell you. That's there. This one here, tighten that a little bit. The other one worked, but it was a little loose and it was full of shit. So it's better that we got a new one anyway. Now we're gonna smush that baby on there. All right, so that's the dishwasher, washer, dishwasher, and really I'm the dishwasher around here. She browbeats me until I wash all the dishes every day. It's like a beaver squash video. It's, am it's amazing. Do you get any grease on my um, rug? Are those ones from yesterday? It's a soul sucking vigil. That's from yesterday. Just hard on this. Just giving it a little another tug. All right, now last but not least. We gotta plug this big, this bad boy in. Hopefully I don't electrocute myself. I'll put it up here. Ooh, somebody turn off the garbage disposal, please. You're kidding, right? It's off. You sure? You have, you use the wrong plug. There's two plugs there, correct, or four? One. No, there's one plug for the garbage disposal. Oh, wait a minute, I'm using the wrong plug. Try this one, hang on. Yeah, there's one that hooks Okay, now try it. Water first. Just flip it off and off. It sounds weird. It sounds a little weird, but it could be all that hair in there. No, there's no hair in there. It's a brand new garbage disposal. Oh, the whole thing? I don't know how far that goes up. Okay. Because that other one has, you know, so much hair in it. Oh, hang on. Uh, I got to get straight. Oh, oh yes. Too. So, anyway. Here's the peanut gallery who basically just tells me what I do wrong every single day. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos on stuff I've never done before and really don't know what I'm doing or how to do it. But I try to figure it out and you can too. Thanks a lot. See you next video.